Gamers, what is good? It is Dom here back once again. We are talking pro wrestling sim. I've simulated for 75 years. Yes, oh yes, right here. Sim 1948 to 2023. It, my computer had a fun time just as I was sleeping. It was just chugging along. So much data probably just packed up in here. Luckily enough, though, the game file isn't like bloated. It's not like... 50 gigs or something insane um but it does take a while to process day to day and then you know year to year at this point now so but let's go and see how much the processing world has changed from when i simulated you know 25 years 50 years and now we're 75 years later here we're going to go in and see what companies are alive what hasn't survived what has changed and hasn't changed um something interesting to note from the last time we did this in the 50 year mark versus the 75 year mark is the explosion of the internet more uh cable providers now this database in particular we're not gonna be able to look too much into the titles i don't think many companies have titles you know unless they're really old because the database here when it was set up the titles if we go to like the aew all atlantic championship um you know, these titles right here are set to inactive. They actually should be set to active for all the belts. So when the company becomes active, they're already good to go there. So that's, eh, it's going to stink that we won't be able to see the, you know, historical data for a lot of titles of newer companies, but we can see what companies are out and about. So yeah, we have John Tenta out here wrestling for AEW. That's kind of insane Loki's at the top here and Chris Saban my guy Triple H is actually still wrestling at the prime age of 53 out here um Ted Turner is in charge of AEW I just think that's a funny one him and Magnum TA in the year 2019 run AEW <laughs> um, I, I guess before we do anything else let's see who's at the top of the food chain NWA TNA with Dick Murdoch wow and Alberto out there and Rhino Keep in mind, this is the year 2023, so we got some wild things going on. No title, sadly. WXW. So these are, we got a bunch of global companies here. Ted Turner. I'm going to actually check out the network deals. So they got Peacock, Fight Network, DirecTV, Sky Sports, Fox Sports. Makes sense on why, they, why these companies are able to become, you know, so huge become global you know if you look at the size here global is the max that you can get being national in three or more continents and we're talking 73 popularity uh you know 72 crowd popularity and 73 across the board here with nwa tna that is insane joint promotions here over in europe actually ran by drew galloway he's got a pretty good roster here with biggie uh big show batista i see rvd Nikki Bella, uh, Tommy N down there. Progresso. Kerry Von Eric out of here, still wrestling, not retired. What was his last match? He was actually a WWWF champion, by the way. He's got a huge history because he's still out and about wrestling. So he just wrestled in December, a tag team match. But he's even doing still some single matches. You know, but to see 62-year-old <laughs> Carrie Von Eric in the main event for Pro Progress, a national company ran by Amir Jordan. Yeah, this is definitely a, an insane world of what's going on here. Um, I don't even know if WWE is around here. Um, I did see Vince is running a company. Wade Barrett's running a company out uh, in, what is this, France, I'm guessing. Bro, Feinstein got his hands on a company. Dixie Carter got her hands on a company. Jim Crockett Jr. New Japan owns Stardom, but I'm guessing New Japan's not around. Dusty Rhodes, still alive and kicking, has a company. Grado has a company. He's got North Wrestling. Jim Ross is booking. And that's everyone here. So yeah, I, I don't see historically the uh i think it was like capital wrestling so looks like wcw new japan uh triple a 
CMLL, a lot of those are are gone. You know, there's a, there's a huge rise of European companies, which is pretty cool to see. Not as much Japanese companies. In terms of the American companies, you know, we're off to the races here with that. Let's go check out the awards here. In 2022, match of the year. Uh, so, well, we do have Michinoku Pro putting out some amazing matches, it looks like. Um, I'm not going to go super in detail with everything, but we'll check out matches of the year, wrestlers of the year, stuff like that. Candice LeRae, TNA. Yeah, kind of as I expected. What's a typical TNA show of 10,000 people with a rating of 79? That's the highest rated show of all time. Okay. You're talking Rock and Robbie Brookside segment 2023. Mama Brookside. He's just out there whipping him. Rampage Brown, Hoshi Tanahashi, Rhino. I don't want Ron Harrison, Leon Von Gaston in 2023. What have we done to this timeline? What have we, what type of damage have we done in this timeline here? It's crazy to think about. Yeah, TNA is just killing in terms of their shows. I imagine they're going to be approaching a bunch. In terms of wrestler there, Maurice, good for her. Good for her. You know, becoming wrestler. The women really killing it as the wrestlers of the year. Um, match of the year with Shane Helms and Chris Saban. Stampede show. Okay. See Chris Saban and Kane down here. TJ Wilson. He's still wrestling he never had that horrible neck injury so and i'll probably take it to about 2010 we'll see in terms of the um rest of the year match of the year stuff like that chono and tanahashi in 2016 so we still are getting a good bit of uh Japanese scene. I'm guessing so Big Japan was still around at this point, looks like. RVD in 2012. Let's go. Funaki. Kurt Angle and RVD. Jericho and RVD. Okay, okay. Now let's see for the wrestling world who is the oldest and the youngest wrestler out here by birth date. Um, we want to filter to status is uh, active. Yeah, they got to be, you know, alive out here. So Saren, uh, 13 out there, Joshi Wrestling. And the oldest still alive is Stan Carely. He's actually employed to uh, Wade Barrett's company, 93 years old. Uh, or sorry, 116 years old. 116. I wonder if I can find the active, like the oldest active wrestler here. We have a lot of personality staff, occasional wrestler, Rufus Jones. I guess he counts being uh, occasional. I do want to see who is a who is a forever lifer for wrestling. I think a better way to find this real quick. So we're looking, we're only a 97 year old. Um, we're gonna go to worker type wrestler. So we have Adrian Adonis, 68 years old. So it looks like to be the late 60s is going to be the cutoff for people there. And once they get to like late 60s, they're like, we're, we're done. We're out of here. We're retired. But a lot of them still stick around in the wrestling world, which is nice to see. You know, down here we even have Jim Crockett at 114. Um, a lot of them aren't with companies. So to see that Wade Barrett employing 116-year-old Stan Curley with 93 years of experience. He almost has 100 years of experience. That is insane to say there. Um, I imagine if I sort by debut date. Oh, Earl, Earl McCready actually has him beat by, by one whole year. He's a little bit younger, but he does have that extra year of experience. He's not hired anywhere. Um, wow. Maxine Dupree is the newest uh, around here. So Logan Paul and Lucha Underground. What a what a timeline here. Alrighty, let's go check out who is the most popular. Now I do believe there is like a, a bug right now. Because if you look here with the most popular, 
we're talking companies that are global, but the wrestlers are only at like 55 popularity. And you have people probably like Carrie Von Erica who reached 100 popularity and then just boom, dipped. So I don't know what in the world, you know, happened there because there should be people, you know, way popular. Like there, I think I actually showed off um, Tanahashi here. It's a prime example. Uh, he has four popularity, but he has held championship gold. He's still wrestling. He's all over the place. It's done to chemistry. Just wrestled. Um, you know, he's in NWA TNA, so he is just stagnated. So I think there is a bug super duper long term as a heads up if you are wanting to do a 75 year save like this. But uh, I imagine stuff like that will get, you know, worked out and fixed. Nonetheless, here, uh, you know, that, that's going to do it for our most popular wrestlers due to, you know, the, the popularity. But we can still see wrestling skills. Who's the best wrestler in the world? So call me Kurt Angle. He's at the top there. Chris Saban. So, and keep, this, keep in mind, this is the year 2023. You know, we're not talking mid-2000s Angle and Saban perk Angle. We're talking 54-year-old. 40 year old Chris Saban. These guys are destroying it above everybody else. So, Reed Flair, 34 year old Reed Flair, 86 wrestling skill. Start off at 76. Um, let me see. Chris Saban was in the 70s, went almost up to 100, basically. You know, here. Dang. Alrighty, let's go see. If now, who is Ripperoni Pepperoni? There's probably a whole bunch here because time has just passed, and we'll just steamroll through them here. I wonder if I actually sort by the debut date here. Joseph has passed away. Oh, man. Not sunny. Oh, no. Sunny days. All the sunnies are passing away. Hogan. So this is the timeline where Hogan doesn't live long. This this definitely is a very odd timeline given what companies have risen, what companies don't exist anymore, who's running what. Um, like I said, sadly there's no championship history. I would love to see that past uh, a certain point. Like I said, it looks like they're not set to active. I, I don't think they're expecting somebody to go this super duper far as you can see by some stuff uh breaking with the logic for the popularity luckily the wrestling skill stuff like that still works which is nice to see so some interesting things here checking out like bankruptcy the nwa so tna nwa tna is the only form of nwa left but the actual uh national wrestling alliance closed in 2014 there um gccw closed down here in 2012 uh, we have a lot of companies that knocked out here like roh in uh, 2012 2011 xpw closed down now this is where the wwe did close down in 2010 here um and chikara so but still a ton of promotions out here even with some of the bigger ones, you know, closing down. So to see, you know, TNA getting their chance to rise to the top as a global company under Dick Murdoch is what an interesting thing to see. And, you know, without WCW, Ted Turner owns AEW. He's like, I want to, he, he's like, I was on the forums back in the day. And I said, you know, or he probably stole it off of Tony Khan's forum, beat him to it. So he's like, I'm bringing this back on the Turner Network. So, man, how old is Ted Turner in this? He's got to be ancient. 87-year-old Ted Turner still out here owning this thing. Now, he's not the booker, but, yeah, still involved. I think I saw Linda McMahon down there in Russo. How is this company still afloat around here in 2023? Johnny Ace and Kurt Angle is, as the you know, what? Okay. I've, I've I've seen enough. That was 75 years of the wrestling industry. Hope you enjoyed as much as I did going through and, you know, simming it, seeing all the wackiness here. I don't know if we'll make it to 100 as it took a while to go through the 75 years. Um, but, 
you know, I do want to see if we can get the uh, bug fixed first before I do another 25 years. Um, and if that's the case, then you can look forward to that. If not, we still have a ton of other fun little sims going around on the channel. Uh, and drop some ideas down below if there's any you'd like to see. All right, everyone. Take care.